this video we're going to talk about using the pinch off tool so the pinch off tool looks a lot like our flaring block the only difference you'll see is it's got uh, almost a blade right in the center of that and that's our pinch off part but we have a quarter we have a three eighths and we have a half inch hole in here so that's the kind of pipe that we can work with now on this pinch off tool like a flaring block, one side is open. You can put that on there and tighten it around the pipe. If you look at my contraption back here, you'll see I have a pressure control. Uh, now this could be a low pressure control, it could be a fan cycling control, it could be a high pressure safety. Uh, you'll run into these particularly on ice machines. Ice machines will have kind of a header. Uh, they'll have a stub that has like a five, uh, uh, high pressure safety or fan cycling control on it and then they'll have a couple of blank stubs there not quite this long uh, this is more demonstration purposes but the purpose of those is if this goes bad we can change this out and either put it back on this stub we can maybe add one into this stub uh, without taking any of the refrigerant out of it and we're going to use our pinch off tool uh, to get that done so we're going to take our pinch off tool and you're gonna fit that below, obviously where the piece is that you wanna change out. Kind of center that in there. And you're gonna tighten this equally. So you're gonna tighten one side, and you tighten the other side. Kinda of want that thing to tighten down equally. We don't wanna have any bare spots in there or one side's higher than the other. So when we get that good and snug, now you can tighten that down too much. Uh, you can pinch through the pipe. If that happens, well, then it causes a little bit of trouble. But hopefully, if you do it right, you can pinch off this pipe. Now we're still gonna have just a minute amount of pressure in this pipe here, but we should be able to You can either cut that off. I have a coupling in there, so I'm just gonna use a torch to unsweat it. Notice I have about, oh, 85 pounds of pressure on that pipe. Normally I take this pressure control off. Uh, this is a bad one anyways, it's just for show purposes. Uh, but if that was a good one, or if I was putting a good one on, uh, I'd wanna unscrew that or wrap that in a rag to kinda keep that from getting too hot. So when I unsweat this, there should just be a little bit of pressure in there from that pipe itself. But notice I took that off and we didn't really lose any pressure out of that. I don't want to take this off until I'm done. So I put this back in there. I can put my new one in there. I can fit in my new pressure control. Braze in my new piece. Make sure I don't got any leaks on there. So essentially, I changed out that pressure control without taking any refrigerant out of it. Now cool this off nice. Don't want any burn fingers while we're doing this. Even our uh, pinch off tool here will get a little bit warm. So we want to kind of cool that off too. Now I can take that, loosen up these ends. And I can take that pinch off tool off of there. Now this is where the holes come into play. So I can take that, my quarter inch hole. Now I'm going to put that the opposite way that I pinched that off bend this out of the way here. So basically we want to just open that hole back up. You don't need to make it perfect. Pressure's pressure. You just got to get pressure through there so that pressure switch can read pressure. So we're just going to put that the opposite way of our 
pinch. We're going to tighten that down and open that hole back up. Now, if you want, when you get done, you can put a little bit of braise around here where our pinch was, kind of firm that up and stuff. Um, but that's how we use the pinch off tool. We've used it many times on ice machines. Kind of, kind of comes in handy. You don't want to take all the refrigerant out of it. Change out the high pressure safety or the fan cycling switch. This is what you're going to use.